Okay, so this is a uh, Gold Rush. God damn, I love this game. It's based on the TV show from Discovery Channel. I think pretty much the only similarity it has with the TV show, apart from the Discovery logo up here, is this screen where you see Parker, Todd, Tony Beats, Parker again. Parker! Okay, that's my f impression of Grandpa Parker, whatever his name is. Parker, you don't know how pleased and proud I am of you. Schnabel. John Schnabel. Apart from that, you don't see anything else to do with the TV show, apart from you're mining for gold. Let's start a new game. I've been playing this for a few days now. I know uh, the ins and outs, how it works. And trust me, it's not freaking easy. Frickin'. So yeah, this game gives you pretty much no instruction how the hell you're meant to work it out. Fuck off. Fuck me, what is that sensitivity? Controls. I can't be right. Zero percent. Okay, zero, okay. Okay, zero percent is a bit too low. One percent apply. So, what the frick? Okay, so we're in Gold Rush, we're in Haynes, Alaska. We're gonna do some gold mining. This is our pickup truck. E to enter. And goddamn, there's a lot of controls in here, so... It's so simulatory, you gotta turn your engine on. With X. Turn your diff lock off. See, it's having a go at me, Q. Press space to let go of the uh, handbrake, and then we can drive. And also, while I'm down here, I quite like to press C, so I can see my little car, my little dude. So driving around, first things first, I'm going to go to this bank, handbrake, turn the ignition off, because I don't want to waste my fuel, because that's how freaking simulatory this game is. You have fuel. Right, so before I walk over there, if you press tab, there's a little map, so it shows like blacksmith. That's where you like, sell your gold, smelt it down. The machine park, buy some machines. Warehouse, buy like all your other crap. Gas station, buy some fuel, cause things do run out of fuel. And then where we are now, the old Glen Bank. Now, when I first played this, I drove past that bloody many times. I mean, look at it. That's not a bank. Well, it says bank. But it's like, redundant. Like, where is everyone? There's no one here. Anyway, got to the bank. Oh, I'm stuck on a curb. Eh. Eh. There you go. Anyway, got to the bank. Press E. Got some parcels of land, because you need some land. You can't just dig a hole wherever you want, because you'll get fucking arrested or some shit. So, oh, Pine Valley sounds nice. 91 grand. Go to the old Arnold parcel. And uh, we've only got 223 quid, so we can't really buy it for 25 grand. So we're going to rent it. Rented. Sorted. While I'm here, I'm going to have a cheeky loan. Give me the full amount. I'm going to pay it back over... Uh, over 30 days, whatever. So I'm paying 200 quid a day. So basically, I've got to make some dosh fast or I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in the red. I don't wanna be in the red. So I'm gonna take a loan. Five grand. So now if you look at my top right, that's my total gold haul, which is pretty pathetic. Um don't know where I found that. It's probably like a family heirloom someone gave it to me. Good luck in Alaska boy take my money. Um so yeah I got five grand so I'm gonna X, turn engine on. Space, take my handbrake off. Uh, hang on, what's, is there a... What's the, uh, handbrake? Space, oh, oh nice. Alright, take my diff lock off. Go up here, fucking... Oh, that's a bit better, boy. Uh... Oh, now my handbrake's on. Okay, so... 
tapping space puts you on your handbrake full time. So if I go around here, the little warehouse thing, which is this building on my right, I'll just pull in it, nice and gently, handbrake on, turn the engine off. Right, so if I have a wand around in here, this is where you buy all your supplies. So we got like wave table jets, batteries, jerry can. Over on this side, we got some big stuff. So we got like fuel trailer, normal trailer, mobile wash plant, magnetite trailer. We got all this stuff. Um, start with, I don't have much money. I've got to, uh, Gotta start somewhere. So I'm gonna think small. I'm gonna build the hog pan. So I'm gonna use hog pan no pump. Just press E to buy that. Add one. Say add. And it goes into like a like a checkout basket if you like. I'm gonna buy one of them. One of them. And I'll show you how all this works later on, once I get it to my place. Um what else do I wanna buy? Need Oh, I need some mats. Where are the mats? They're around here somewhere. Yes, these mats there will actually catch the gold. So, I'm gonna have four. Oh, I'm gonna have three of them. Can I buy one more? No. Okay, three of them. Sod it. And then I need a bucket. Buckets are always useful. So, let's have a bucket. Oh, apparently, I can't buy any more. Anyway, we'll go up to uh, buy a bucket later. Go up to this checkout here, and there's all the stuff you wanted. Ooh! So I press buy. You'll find all this stuff outside the shop. So yeah, whatever. So that's sorted. If I go outside the shop, there's this little area here, and this is all the stuff I've just bought. So I'm gonna go up to my trailer, open the back. Grab my pens, grab my mat even, put them down. Yes, this is how simulating the game is. You have to fill up the truck yourself. All right, so some of these items are a bloody nightmare to get in. Oh, well they go in straight away, just like that. Did I go in? No, oh, fucking. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so I still need a bucket for sure. Okay, I think, you, yeah, you can only buy a certain amount at a time because that storage bit over there out the front gets filled up. Oh, yeah, I need another, I have another mat. Because I like mats because it's my name. <laughs> right, close her up. And uh, we will head off. To my mind. Wop. Right, so it's get to your mind from the shop, which you probably all want to do if you ever play this game. Oh, fucking mind the indestructible trees. So head straight out of the shop, past the police station, past the uh, machine park on your right. That's where you buy your diggers and stuff later on. Oh yeah, baby. Cheese it down here, over the railway. Fucking hell! See, so yeah, over the railway. Towards the big old chimney stack. Like, I don't know what this place is. It's like... I don't know. I thought it was going to be a gold mine in the middle of nowhere. You get slowdowns like that. Just ignore them. It's basically when you drive too fast. The game's not quite loaded. So, it, uh... It's like the old GTA. GTA uh, Vice City. It used to, uh... Like, stop and load while you're in the plane flying about. Anyway, so yeah, we're going through this like massive industrial X factory thing. Fuck it, break! There you go, I just want to show you a good look. I, uh, I meant to, uh, spin around like that just so that you could see everything. I didn't lose control there. Um, so yeah, big old factory. I don't really know what's going on, why it was there, and why it's apparently this close to a gold mine. But yeah, anyway. Heading through here, and fuck, and this is my claim. So I'm gonna drive up along past this little hut thing. 
Notice the stream to my right. Very important. You can't mine gold without water. Remember that one, kids. Alright, it's handbrake. Turn the engine off. Alright, so before we unload, I'll just have a little a little tour. So we got a hut over there that stores kind of all your stuff that you've bought. If you're not using it. You got mining like tent here with a little campfire. Eat some uh, marshmallows on there. But if you head in here, we've got this like fucking huge iPad. Um, you can go on there to your bank, get some loans, all that kind of crap. So later on in the game, you can use this screen to move your machines about, hire some workers, and it looks like coming later, there'll be your stuff will break down, gotta get it fixed. You can order equipment, which would be lovely, not having to traipse back to the shop every time, and order heavy machines, so that'd be good. Shut down, don't worry about pressing that. I was a bit worried at first, it literally just closes your laptop. So over here is your bucket of water, you're gonna need that. And over here is your gold pan. And top tip to anyone, because I learned the hard way, don't piss about with these in here, because I got my gold pan wedged through this wall and I could not get it out. So that was the end of that save for me, I had to start all over again. So I'll put that in there. Oh fuck, you know. Pick her up. Take her out, and I'm going to take this round the corner over to here, which is where I'll do my first little bit of gold mining. I'll come back to that. So just grab my gold pan. Because I think this is your only gold pan in the game, so if you lose it, you're pretty stuffed. So yeah, shove that there. Alright, and then another fairly important bit is the caravan over here. This you can just walk up to and go sleep. You can sleep until dawn. Or just pass an hour. Don't really know why you want to do that. But sleep until dawn is good because it gets dark and you can't see a shitting thing. You can go to the shop and buy some lights, but you need generators to power them, fuel to power that, blah blah blah. Just sleep. Anyway, I'm gonna unload my stuff. Where'd that go? Oh. Can you just hold that sluice for me a second, uh, Bush? Thank you. So this game is not perfect. It shouldn't have been released in this state, if you ask me. But, um,. I think Discovery kind of pushed it because it came out the same day as the ah, as Series 8, the TV show. They're slowly ironing out the bugs, but like this, that freaking bush keeps stealing my th ah. So yeah, the bugs will be gone at some stage, but uh, just be patient with it because it's a freaking awesome game anyway. Alright, so this, this bit of wood here is like your, your foundation for your structure. So if you grab this, you can see a little yellow thing appears, press here on it, and it lays down your box in the right place. So we can grab a mat, shove it in, grab another mat, shove it in, and that will catch your gold. You can also grab our golden retriever, this is the retriever box, shove that on top, and that's where our dirt will go in, when we put some water in, it will all wash down, gold will get trapped in the mats, sorted. So yeah, we'll shove this on, this is our extender piece. So that goes on the bottom. We'll add more mats, there's another mat there. Another mat there. Alright, so this is set up now. These things up here, they kind of show you how well progressed everything is, so as you fill the dirt up, you'll notice this one will go up by a percentage. As you wash your dirt through, these are your mats, so one, two, three, four, are four mats, one, two, three, four, nicely labelled with the paint job there. So these will also fill up, so when they're 100%, the mats are full, they can't take any more gold, that's the time to wash them. So our claim for now is this area over here. So I struggled on this, so if you press Z for the controls, you can see next tool and previous tool are the arrows. Okay, so you'll close that, press the arrows, nothing happens. So for anyone that wants to frickin' dig without spending 20 minutes pressing every single button on the keyboard, press the full stop button. Full stop and comma are to scroll through your tools. There's a torch. 
a spade, shovel, and some hands. So, this is going to be a memorable moment. We're going to break the first ground. Oh, look at that. Let's go over to your thing. Fill her up. And if you look at there, 10%. Let's keep digging. 20%. You can see now, nothing's happening. All my dirt's staying in here. It's not washing down or anything, there's no water. So just keep digging a hole. And eventually... Alright, so that's our final one. So I'll press comma to get rid of my spade. I've just got my hands. So I'm gonna grab the bucket. Fuck me, my bucket nearly washed away. Grab my bucket. Fill her up with water. And then, magical moment. Pour the water in. And look, you can see, oh look, there's bits of gold. There's some gold in there, boys. So that's only, that's washed out. Uh, come on, basic mass, 38%. So we're gonna grab some more water. Fill her back up. It's going down. Gold flying past, I like the looks of this. 25%, so one more tub should do it. Right, so that's completely empty. There's no more dirt in there. So if you have a look in there, no dirt, completely clean. But our mats have 4% capacity. So, I don't know if someone wants to do some maths, but... I've got a lot of work to do, basically. A lot of work. So I won't bore you with the rest. I will just keep going until I get close. Um, and yeah, see you on the other side. Right, so while you guys have been doing whatever you've been doing, I've been here digging a freaking big hole. And I'm on 98%, baby. Well, 92, 99 for the middle. Um, so I'm just going to do my last few pans. My last few shovel loads. Let's grab that. I probably don't have to fill it to the top, so I'll just do, I don't know. Maybe two more. One. Two. Right, so let's have a look at that. And you'll notice with this game, which I absolutely love, the ground actually deforms as you dig it away. So I've actually dug dirt away. Oh man, I love this. Okay, so grab my water. Let's wash some of this dirt through. Oh, 99%. Oh, 100. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. So we're full. So I'm going to grab my bucket and fill it up with water, put it down on the ground. What I'm going to do is take my mats out and wash them into the bucket. So like that, it gives you a little yellow icon so you know you're doing something right. Wash it once, that's not enough. Look at the water, it's not very brown. Go a few more times. One, two. Now that's the colour you want. You want it to look a bit like Mars. This one just looks like Mars, it's good. You can always do a little test, but I put it back in here. And now that one's on 0% because it's been fully washed. Alright, so before we do anything with that, we want to grab our bucket and fill it up with water. So, use. Alright, so that's now filled with water. So shove this down. And this is where I'm going to pan my gold. I'm not going to do it straight in the river because I'm not a savage. I'm going to do it in the big bucket. So grab my pan, bring it a little bit closer, and I'm going to empty some of my, uh, some of my pay, my pay dirt into the pan, and I take my pan, bring it over to here. So the controls here are a bit dodgy, so that down, that up. If I shake it around, we notice the water gets muddy, which is good. So if I let the water come out. You see some gold has appeared. So you can either 
play it cool and like try and pan it properly, get some water in, do that, lose some of the dirt, whatever. I'm a bit lazy, so I kind of just shove it about and then press your shift button, which allows you to get a picker. There's a picker. Get a few more little squirts of gold, a little bit there. And then if you can't quite get it, just jiggle it about a bit more. There you go. And once you've got that, you've got all your gold. So put my pan down. Get my bucket. Empty some dirt into there. Put that back down. So notice when you do this, you'll get the water changing colour. So straight away it's kind of really dark brown. So if you do it again, still... Like that. So you basically need to keep doing it until the water comes up clean. So put that in. It's still dirty, so I'm still washing gold. Still washing gold. Shove it back in. And now, when I do that, the water's not changing colour, which means all the gold is free. So yeah, rather than bore you with any more of that, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When you get your first ounce, you find a 40 ounce nugget. So this is going to let you jump ahead in the game considerably. It happens to everyone first time because I guess they realised no one actually wants to be digging a hole with a spade. We got diggers and stuff to buy. So yeah, I'm uh, let's fast forward and you'll see what I mean. So yeah, as you can see, I've achieved the impossible. On my first ever mining trip, I found a 40 ounce nugget. So you might be wondering what is 40 ounce worth? So let's let's go have a look. Okay, so shut the boot. Um, get in the car. Turn on the engine. Take off handbrake. Change camera. So yeah, we'll head back to town, and I'll show you how to sell your gold and what the best method is to get the best price and all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I'm back in town. I'm just driving past the machine park on my left. And if I go down here, I'm going to take a quick right turn. And end up... See? See what I mean about the loading thing? Um, ooh, hang on. I just want to... What's that say? Travel beyond this point not recommended. Hmm. Yep, invisible walls. Okay, that was tempting, but... Ah, okay, always put your handbrake on, because... It's a sim, it's very realistic. Right, so if we go in here, this is our blacksmith. So, press X, spacebar. Yeah, so on the map, we are over here now. Our claim is down here. This is where we're mining in the river. We're now up here at the blacksmith. So we've got 40 ounces on us. So if we go up to this door, big old metal lion knocker. Okay, so this is something the game didn't really explain to me very well and I had to learn the hard way. You've got two options here, craft or sell ore. So initially you'd think, oh, well I've got all this mined gold ore, I want to sell it. Don't sell it here, go on craft and put all your gold in, so that's your 40 ounces. This, it says here it's going to cost 400 quid, it's going to take 6 hours and you're going to lose nearly 4 ounces of gold. Which sounds like a terrible idea, but do it. Because you do it and you end up with a lovely gold bar. Oh, look at that. So yeah, we've got a bar of gold, so we're going to take it to the bank to sell it. So annoyingly, your bar of gold, you would, in any sensible world, you'd just put it in your pocket and uh, drive to the bank. But no, we can't do that, because this stupid game, we've got to open the boot, and then... Uh... Oh god, where's he gone? Seriously, what? That's all the gold I have. Where is it? I- Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Don't lose your gold like me. But yeah, you gotta shove it in the boot. P 
put the lid up because you don't want to drop that. Look how small it is. I just dropped it there and I couldn't find it. If it falls out your truck, you are screwed. So get back in the truck, turn the engine on, drive away, and we're going to go to the bank. So coming up here. Oh, look at that. Park in, boy. Actually, don't leave your engine on. Um, let's get my go. Oh. Eh. Got it. Oh yeah, this is this is the other thing I couldn't really work out. So you've got your gold in your hand and you want to sell it to the bank, uh, but you can't. So you have to put it down. Um. Did anyone else see that? That literally fell through the map. Is that it there? And now it says I got zero gold. Are you shitting me? Did that just fall through the map? Oh! Oh man, this is not good. Okay, so as I said when I first started this game, there are a few bugs. One of them is gold can fall through the map, so be very careful. Um, what I was going to say is, can I sell gold bars? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, ho, ho. It's okay. I don't, have to, I don't have to do all that again. I have to do anything again. So when you're in the bank, if you just go onto this sell gold tab, don't worry about parcels, loan, stock. That shows the gold price. We're selling at a pretty terrible price today, but I don't know if there's much we can do about it, to be honest. Um, just keep an eye on it, I guess. You can always hoard it. I guess that's the best thing to do. Like, when you've started making lots of gold, you wait for a high day, sell it then. And if, if it's a low day, you just don't sell it that day. Depends on how much you need the dosh. Anyway, you go to this tab, and it's, it's got your bars here. So you can select your bar, press sell, and then exit out. And if you look in the top right, we've got 52 grand, baby. So we can go do some proper mining. Um, I'm going to leave that there for today. But <laughs> I can't believe that gold fell through the map. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you do, give it a like. Maybe subscribe. If I get a few likes, maybe I'll, I'll carry on the series. We'll do another one. Um, I'm going to be playing this anyway. But yeah, if you want to know what the next tier of mining is like, let me know. Cheers, guys. Later.